<clears throat> Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. So today I'm going to show you how you can uh, deploy your Docker images into ECS. So let's get started. I have a local Node.js project, which is uh, using Express and just uh, put some responses if you just browse the homepage. So it is pretty simple, runs on port 8.0 and uh, sends this message with a browser response. So what I'm do, I will uh, create a Docker image out of it and push it to the ECR and then create an ECS uh, cluster and then run the cluster with the tux. So let's get started. So uh, this is my ECR. So I already created a, a repository named sample. So I'm going to the details. And if I go to the details of the sample, if you don't have any repositories, you can just create a new repository, that's simple. And then you go to view push commands. And here you will see all the commands that is required to push your image into the ECR. So I have already logged in into my AWS CLI. So that's, if you don't have, you can just uh, use this link. So I have already logged in with AWS uh, CLI and uh, the user that I have logged in with has permission to ECR. So then I'm just going to copy this command. This will uh, actually log in into uh, ECR, get the password and use that password to log in with the uh, Docker. So uh, let's try to run this. Okay, it is not running because the local daemon of my local Docker is not running. Uh, just start the local uh, Docker daemon or Docker desktop. So that's pretty simple. Probably if you're using Linux, then it's probably already running in the background. I don't run it as a background always because that consumes a lot of uh, resources on my desktop. That's why I run it when I need it. So, uh, Docker desktop, it is, Docker desktop stopped, right? Starting, okay, so let's try now. So I'm trying to uh, log in with ECR and okay, it's still not running. Let's wait. You need to have the Docker desktop up and running first. Okay, let's try now. I hope it works fine. Let's see. Yeah, it is working fine. Login success. Then I'm going to copy the next command, which is Docker build. It will run very fast for me because I have already built this image previously. But for your case, it might be it takes some time because it will pull all the images and then build this process. Then I'm going to create a tag. Uh, so let's uh, use a different tag from latest because I'm going to previously I have used latest. So let's say uh, v uh, two, and I have created the tag, and then I'm going to push that uh, Docker image into ECR. So at the bottom, use the tag, let's say V2. Okay, it will take some time because it is pushing the Docker image into ECR. Based on the size of the image, it might take some time. For me, it was very simple. It's only 24 mega. But if you use a, a larger images like Ubuntu, then it should be different. Okay, so uh, what we have is uh, this this tag. So it both have in the same tag, that means that's okay. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is copy this image URI and I'm going to create a new cluster in ECS. So here is the ECS console and I'm going to create a new cluster. I'm going to choose EC2. So that's pretty simple. Go to the next. 
I'm going to cluster name. So Node.js cluster. I'm going to use spot instances because then I have uh, I get very discounted price. So let's say T3 small. Number of instances one. That's okay. I'm going to use the default VPC. Subnets, I have two subnets here, both are selected. Auto assign public IP, yes. Security group, I'm just going to use the default security group. So container uh, instance IEM role, EC instance role. I already have this role, but for uh, your case, you can use the create new role that will create a new role. And that is also, this, this role is previously have created, but if you want, you can create a new role. I'm going to create this new role. That should be fine. Let's create. Okay. So a lot of things are going. It is cluster is being created, and I am policy is being created, I am role is being created, and a cloud formation stack will start that will actually launch the EC2 instances. So if I log into EC2, if I go to EC2 and uh, if I see uh, the instances, I will probably see that the instances are up and running. <clears throat> so there is no running instances. Let's see if there is something ongoing. Yeah, here it is running. So this is the instance that is uh, being created by the ACS cluster. So you have created a cluster. So that's good. Now inside that cluster, you need to run tux. And for that, you need to create a definition. So I'm going to go to tux definition, create a new definition. So it should be easy to, and then create new next step, and then give it a name. So node JS app, let's give the name. Just app, tax role, uh, probably none. The network mode default, tax execution none, tax memory. So let's give it a memory like 1024. One B CPU. Okay, that's the capacity I have given. Now adding the container. So the image that I have pushed here, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to use that as a sample. So let's here, give it a name. Node is app v2. Hard limit. Let's put a hard limit here. Port mapping, host port 80, container port 80. Because my app is running on 80, so both should be 8. But if your container port is different, like usually it's 3000, then you should use 3000 here. If all this is looks fine. You can actually create add. That's good. Now let's create the tux. Let's see. So we have created the tux definition of JS app. We have revision one. So now let's go to the clusters. And these are my cluster. At this moment, there is no tux is running. You see. And we have uh, instances. One instance should be active here. Now I'm going to create a new tax. Run new tax. Inside the tax, uh, choose the launch type EC2. And then uh, from the tax definition, choose the one that I have just created. So it should be Node.js app. Right? Let me just. I think Node.js app, right? I have created a lot of similar naming. Um, but just open the new tab and verify if this is the correct one. So Node.js app, I should have used a different one. Proof. This is the image. If I see here, 2022. Is it same? Just verify. 
Yeah, dot set. Anyway, uh, that is okay. Then I'm to run the tax. Sorry. So uh, the tax has been started. It's running. Let's go to the ECS. That is also okay. Now let's go to EC2 and grab the public IP of the instance. And let's go here. Yes, it should show the message that I have given here. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's create a, some changes here. you. AWS. I'm sure it's not correct, but who cares? So, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to do the comment section. I don't need to log in again because I have already done. I'm going to build it. Then I'm going to create a new tag. The tag should be like V3. <laughs> Clear my screen, it's going to be the bottom. Now, in that case, I'm going to use V3. And I'm going to push. V3, let's see what happens now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's refresh this page. We should have a new uh, image, V3. Here it is, V3. Now let's copy this. And uh, go to our tax definitions, right? Here is the tax definition. Node.js app. Let's assume this is the tax definition. So uh, Node.js app. What I'm going to do, create a new revision. So previously it was version one, now it will have version two. So tax rule none, network move default, required capabilities easy to, that's okay. This should be all same. Only thing is that uh, the container image, I'm going to delete this and add a new container image, which is V3. So uh, 128, sorry, 128. Post mapping eight zero, port mapping eight zero. <laughs> now I'm going to click add and that's okay. Click it. Okay, so we have created a new revision for this node just app. Now let's go to ECS, there's the taxes. What I can do is I can uh, stop this task and create a new tax. The reason I'm doing this because uh, the capacity of the EC2 instance, it's very small. And we have uh, set a limit, memory limit in the tax definition. It's something like uh, 1024. That's why you cannot run two taxes in the same instance. That's why I'm going to stop one and create a new tax. If your capacity is, if your like instance capacity is very large, like if I have used like T3 large or etc., then I could have easily run two parallelly and deleted one. But at this moment, I cannot do that. I just have to delete this part, stop, and create a new one. Is it two? Not just app. And we should have version two. That's okay. Number of taxes one and one tax. That's it. Our tax is running. Let's refresh. It's still pending. Still pending. Just one more minute. It should take. Shouldn't take that much time. But let's see. Yeah, it is running. So now if I refresh it. It should show me a different message. Yeah, here it is. So 
we were able to deploy this uh, with a new uh, version of the image. And in this process, uh, you have seen that how we can easily deploy Docker images into ECS. Probably in my next videos, I will show you how you can automate this with AWS code build so that you can uh, create those container images from the code build and push it into ECR and you can automatically update the tax definition. Yeah. So today, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your network. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.